everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to make an anime and manga inspired bedroom. But first we're going to have to put together a basic room. Here are the printables we designed for this project. My floor base has two foam board strips like this on each side so I can easily slide the walls between. Oops. Here's what I picked. It's a wall with a window. And I'm just gonna put it in over here. And here is one of my favorites. I even spray painted it white to preserve it. Let's bring in the desk. In our dull office video, we showed you how to make this printer. Only a black one. But if you still want it in pink, we have the pink printable on our blog. Please go check that out. And it's for free. Let's put a bunch of clutter. This will go on the printer. This computer is actually a My Froggy Stuff computer and I really love the wallpaper. The only problem is it's a bit big for my cluttered desk, so I'm going to be making a stand for it. For this project, we will need just one jumbo craft stick. Let's measure the space we got here. Looks like somewhere seven and a half centimeters. Measure and mark the length. Then cut on the line. For the legs, you're going to need to cut two identical two centimeter bits from the same popsicle stick. After sanding down the ends, you can apply hot glue or PVA glue to stick them together. Check this out. From the scraps of the stick, I actually made a little heart. Now that I'm looking at it, I think a coffee stir could keep it steady. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Our computer is elevated. Now when my doll needs space, she can push her keyboard in and craft. By the way, this printable is available on our blog for free as well. The link is under the video. Next, let's cut out this sketchbook. The front and back cover pages need to be glued onto card, but do not put the card on this dark bit. Put all the pages together and run a glue stick on top. Add some glue to this flap on the cover page. Get the back cover, all the pages, and the front cover and stick it all together. And here you have your own mini sketchbook. Bring in a chair and put the sketchbook on top. Now let's cut out these tiny posters. Take each poster separately and stick it to the card. Oops, I forgot to put in the curtain. I made it with some silky cloth glued to foam board with a bit of poster putty. Now let's add some decor to the shelves back there. This is the poster that we just made, which we're gonna put over here. And this is one of our Riri Mini World printables on our blog. Now we're going to put this sucker picture here, this book about cats, and a mask. I actually own a similar mask in real life. Finally, let's put in a divider and bring in the bed. Let's put in a carpet, put in a mirror here, and the bookshelf. Let's fill it in. Let's bring in a coffee table and a blanket basket. I changed my mind. I think this way is better. What do you think? Comment down below. Let's put this little bedside table underneath the desk. I love this little poster. Let's put it on top of the sketchbook. Let's make a board for our desk. For this, we'll need dotted paper from our office printable and card. To stick the paper on the card, I'm going to use liquid PVA glue. To make this sturdier and seem more plasticky, we're going to cover it in a layer of PVA glue. While that's drying, let's get to this wall. To decorate that wall, we will need a piece of foam board measuring 
17 centimeters wide and 36 centimeters long. This we designed manga inspired wallpaper. Let's stick it on top. It didn't last all the way so we will need the second piece. And trim off the excess. Add glue to the side and wrap them around the foam board. This is what it should look like in the end. Let's use poster putty to attach it to the wall. I think this manga wall will look even better with a TV on it. And a shelf to store the remote control. And here are our remotes. Using recycled plastic, let's make a holder for our board. To score lines, I use the back of my X-Acto knife. I'm going to bend on the lines and glue the flaps together like this. When the holder is ready, glue it to the board. Using something sharp, you're going to want to poke two holes through the board. Use a white paper clip and stick it through the holes. Bend and cut off the excess. Use a hot glue gun to secure it. On this side, curve the end up. Now we have a hook for our headphones. Usually when you buy socks, they come stuck together with these little clips. But I want to use them to attach the posters to my board. If you don't have these clips, you can always use card or use poster putty to stick it on to the board. These are the posters I picked for the board and I made a second hook. Now let's fill the basket. Let's put this notepad here. By the way, this is a My Froggy Stuff printable. Please go check out her channel. Let's put this little picture here. The headphones came with this little player. Only thing is I stuck a tiny picture on it. I know I should have done this earlier, but this has to go on the wall behind the desk. I made a bunch of cute pencil toppers off camera, but let me show you how to make some easy ones. First, to make pencils, we paint toothpicks in different colors. Then we'll need a bunch of light air drying clay. Let's make a cute cat paw topper. Make a small ball out of your clay, then make four smaller balls and add them onto the first one, like this. Now, drill pencil into the paw. Next, we're gonna paint on the little cat beans. I made this smaller one off camera. Let's make a small teddy bear. Start with a little brown ball and then two smaller ones to make ears. Next, we're going to use this paint to add little dots for the snout and the ears. Now we add the little cheeks with a bit of pink on each side. Then use any kind of pen to add some eyes. And then you add a tiny nose right here on the snout. And this is what your little bear will look like. Shape half an egg out of white clay. Add a little indent on the flat side. Make a tiny yellow ball the size of the indent. Now stick it in. You can stick it on a pencil, use it as an eraser, or keep it in your doll's kitchen. Using the same technique, you can make an avocado. Let's make a tiny CD player out of air drying clay. Get a small ball of air drying clay, any color you want, like this, 
and then squish it down. Squish the sides to make it a square. We're going for this design. Cut a circle out of card and press it into the player. With a pen, add a design to the speaker around the disc. Also add a hole in the center using the exact same pin. Drill a hole into the bottom of the player using a toothpick. Cut a small piece of wire and put it right into the center. To make a cord, I used three strings, plotted them, and glued the ends with hot glue. Now, hot glue it into the bottom. To make a plug, bend a small piece of wire. This is what you should get. You can glue it to a piece of paper and wrap it up, or you can glue it into a small IKEA bead. Here's our tiny CD player. I quickly made a tiny CD out of one of my magazine covers. And it comes off. Using the same technique, I created a plug for a hair dryer, which I made out of old headphones. Now that we're done with the crafts, let's quickly finish this room with the stuff we already have. I'm gonna add this little pillow table. Quickly made a tiny stand similar to this phone stand. That Minnie Me can comfortably draw on her iPad. Look at this. I wonder what's inside. It's my Minnie Me's violin. If you have tiny finger puppets, you can quickly fold in the finger bit and make it into a kawaii pillow for your doll. Because I know this place will get dirty really quickly with a cat, I think that the doll deserves a tiny robot helper. If you don't have finger puppets, you can take a keychain, cut off the string, and your dolls will have stuffed animals. Because it gets pretty hot pretty quickly, let's add this My Froggy Stuff aircon. And we're finally done. Now my mini me can enjoy her anime and manga inspired bedroom. The shout outs for today go to Everything Barbie Channel, my Toy World 8974 and Brilliant 8. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Bye!